Describe all numbers x that are at a distance of 4 from the number 8 and express this using absolute value notation. Okay, so welcome to the absolute value chapter. This is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> I know, I know, but trust me, it will be fun. Math is fun. Okay, so let's get down to it. So absolute values, we need to find all of the numbers x that is at a distance of 4 from this number 8. Let's actually draw, and I will show you what we're talking about. So we have a number 8, right? And if I draw it on a number line, what are all the numbers that are four numbers away from 8? Well, technically, if we go to the right, 8 plus 4 would be 12. So that's one number. And if we go to the left, right, the distance would be, I would just have to take away 4. And 8 minus 4 is 4. So in the grand scheme of things, we actually know the numbers already, right? The, the two numbers are x would have to be 4 and x has to be 12. The hard thing is that we have to express this using something called absolute value notation. So absolute value notation is when you start seeing these straight lines in between something that's trapped, technically, or usually, it's going to be an x value. And it's always going to equal some number. I know that's a hashtag, so some number, whether it's you know 2 or 3 or 4. But absolute value notation has to have these lines. OK. Well, what does the absolute value actually mean? Well, absolute values are great because whatever information that you put inside of the absolute value, the answer is always going to be a positive number. All right. And it turns out that this number is always the distance between what's going on in the absolute value. Now, did they tell us the distance? Yeah, we need it to be four numbers away from our number eight. So I already know that the absolute value of whatever's going to be inside has to be equal to four. And since absolute values always bring out a positive number, and I'll just keep that here, positive number, you have two answer choices. Technically, the answer could have been a positive 4 that was inside of here. But if it was a negative, it would turn out to be positive anyway. Now, how do we write what's going on? in our absolute value. Well, we need to describe all the numbers, and they told us that we have to use x. So I have to write an x in here. And now we have to show that we want um, the basically all the numbers that are 4 from our number 8. So the 8 has to go in here. Now, all we have to do is we just have to talk about it being a distance away. And if something is away, you could always subtract it. So 8 minus x, or sorry, x minus 8. Now, just to put that into perspective, let's see if this actually works. So we have the absolute value of x minus 8, our number and it has to equal the distance of 4 away. I don't care whether it's 4 to the left or 4 to the right, a negative or a positive, the absolute value will always give the positive answer. So technically, I know that x minus 8 could equal 4. But since absolute values always give positive answers, there could be a negative secretly hidden in there. And that's the beauty of absolute values. So now if we just solve for x for both of them, you would 
plus 8 on both sides, right? And by just doing a little math, right, this one, x would be equal to 12. Oh, okay. And in this one, x would be equal to the 4. And that's there. So we know that this is the correct answer, and it's in perfect absolute value notation. Okay, so that's the whole overview. Now we're going to speed it up for the second one. But the object is still kind of the same. And I just want to point out here that we had to put an equal sign here and not a less than or a greater than sign because in the question it said describe all the numbers that are a distance, are at a distance. So it's definite. It's not at least a distance of four, at most a distance of four. It's they have to be, they are. So it has to be equal to four. Let's try the next one. Describe all numbers x that are at a distance of a one-half from the number negative 4. And then express this using the absolute value notation again. And take note of the wording. We need to find all the numbers that are at a distance. So it has to equal that distance. So right off the bat, I know that it has to equal one-half. Here is the number that we're starting with, and we have to use x that's going to be, you know, a distance of a half from that negative 4. So I put absolute values, and I start off with x, and it's a distance away, right, away from something. You can always take the difference, so minus, and now the number that they told us was a negative 4. Clean this up, right? We never want to say minus a negative. So it would be the absolute value of x, keep, change, change. So plus 4 is equal to 1 half. And once we know the idea and how to actually write it in absolute value notation, look how easy that was. And that's the answer. All right? So look at that. We got two down in the chapter. Awesome job, guys. All right? And if you want, solve this how we did over here and see if, you know, you get the numbers, if you drew it on a number line, of what it should be. All right? So thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Hopefully this helped. If it did, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. That would help us out a lot. And I will see you all in the next question. Bye-bye.